A uh, warm welcome to the History Show here on Uxbridge FM. And Ken Pierce is back, Chairman of the Uxbridge Local History Society, with another local talk, this one, all about Davy's Toy Shop. When you're ready, Ken. Thank you. I believe it was a sad day for Uxbridge when Davy's Toy Shop closed in January 1964. Davy spelt D-A-V-Y, by the way. James Septimus Davy took over an existing stationery store at 18 High Street about 1870. And for nearly a century, the firm was run by three generations of the Davy family. To the children of this district, the stationery side of the business was of no great interest. It was the toys that mattered. Even the shop window was enticing, with a large display area frequently changed. There was sometimes a prominent feature to grab one's attention. I recall a large Meccano windmill, whose sails rotated slowly, powered by electricity. There was a large castle or fort with a turntable below, on which ranks of soldiers were circling. In October, there was usually a guy, G-U-Y, at least three feet tall, and apparently made entirely of fireworks, in readiness for the annual bonfire night in November. The ground floor of the store was given over to stationery and allied goods, You could find an array of pens, ink, writing paper, brown paper and string, no sellotape yet. There were also Bibles and religious books for the Davy family were members of the Free Church in Waterloo Road. There were leather goods like purses, wallets and school satchels, and postcards, diaries, account books, greetings cards, and in season, of course, Christmas cards and decorations. Walking sticks and umbrellas were also there. But for us children, the wide wooden staircase leading to the toy department was what mattered. There was always a large model railway layout with trains moving round. Items from the Hornby and Meccano catalogues were on display. There were toy soldiers made from lead, not plastic, in those days, in different uniforms. There were model farm animals and even a Noah's Ark. There were toy cars, ships, aeroplanes, and even large yachts that could be sailed on a local pond or lake, and balsa wood aeroplanes that would fly. Add to that dolls in all shapes and sizes, and even a doll's hospital. A lady wrote to me some years ago telling how she joined the shop aged 14 and was put in charge of little repairs. She wrote, I could replace eyes, fit new heads and limbs, and there was a wonderful range of wigs of all colours and sizes. In addition, there were table games like cards, chess, draughts, and snakes and ladders, and a whole area of the shop was given over to sports equipment. You could buy roller skates, marbles, skipping ropes, face masks, itching powder, jigsaws, cap guns, and many other things that I have doubtless forgot. We couldn't afford very much, but my, we did enjoy looking and dreaming. But in January 64, those dreams came to an end, for Davy's toy shop closed, and a child's wonderland disappeared forever. We have the entertainer, I suppose, at the moment in Uxbridge. That's um, a toy shop. Um, Trying to think what else we have. Well, we used to have Toys R Us as well, but that seems to have disappeared from the scene. Yeah. Nationwide. Yeah. Mm. Well, thanks for that, Ken. Um, Another talk or two next month, we hope. 
be a bit I warmer. I sincerely hope, hope so. Yes. Take care. Good. Thank you very much. Cheers, Tim. Bye-bye. Bye for now.